Alright. What do you want now? Yugo and Yuko. Let's see. Central Hospital. I want to discuss the details in person. It's about Yugo. I'll be waiting in my brother's hospital room. That is a terrible hint. That was super dumb. Like, I like this game. But, like, just... It. There's so much fluff here, and just painful wandering around. It totally could have made it a lot, like, smoother of an experience. With very, very few issues, come to think of it. Are you serious? Do I actually... I have to sneak through here. Do I actually have to, like, connection jump to get to Yugo's... I do. No? What? Wait, this is his room? No. This is just somebody else's room. Was there a console in here that I just, like, totally walked past? Because I wasn't paying attention? Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! So she was... She was just in the corner of my eye. Wow! Th thanks, game. Hey, you're Yuko's friend, right? Huh? Yuko's room? We can't just let anyone go in there, you know? Okay, tell you what, I didn't see you or anyone else. Just go ahead. It'll be our secret. This is fucking give me a pass! Thank you for taking on this case. To be honest, I'm thinking of just deleting my Yugo avatar. If I do, the Zaxons will fall apart, and there won't be any such hacker as Yugo anymore. I've been thinking of doing this ever since Under Zero, the Under Zero incident happened. The Yugo avatar is something I received from Rie. Yugo is a special avatar. It allows you to pass through the system, even if you have the wrong personal information. Rie told me, Whenever I was using the Yugo avatar, I really and truly became Yugo. I was being subconsciously manipulated by using the Yugo avatar. I just became a puppet that controlled the hackers whenever it was convenient for Rie. I was being controlled by Rie's wishes and was unable to defeat my enemies, so I've decided to destroy the avatar. Yes, as you said, even though Rie has a connection to the avatar, it belongs to my older brother Yugo. Deleting it will be heartbreaking. I'd at least like someone there uh, to be there to witness it. Could you please be there to witness the last moments of Yugo of the Zakasans? That's my case for you. Thank you. Ah yes, ghost typing. When I push this button, the avatar Yugo will be deleted. Goodbye. What, the avatar can't be deleted? And why can't I delete the account while I'm logged in? Huh? There are people who saw Yugo in Eden. I've been using Yugo, the Yugo avatar since the Under Zero incident. Has someone hacked the account? But there's no evidence of hacking. Dude, I'm changing the goal of the case. We need to go find the one responsible for hacking the Yugo account. To think that someone would steal my brother's account when we are going to delete it, it's, it's just awful. Even now, there's someone else walking around Eden, pretending now, uh, pretending to be my brother. I have to stay calm and get it back. I can't allow this to go on. I don't care how much it costs or how long it takes. It won't be easy, but in this case, I guess I'll overlook any illegal acts. You need to carry it out. Go and have a look around e in Eden and bring me back the criminal who did this. I will, of course, search as well. Huh? Isn't it dangerous to go without Digimon? Don't make fun of me. I've prepared the sub Digimon for my Yuko Kamishiro account. I don't have anyone quite at the level of an ultimate Rise Greymon or Machine Dramon, but I'll be okay. The eyewitness account said he was on Kowloon level 1, right? Let's split up and search. I'll go on ahead.
Hugo has contacted me. Tell me the case has changed. First is rumors that got out of hand. Now it's the Avatar. I tried looking for it, but Hugo's account has a thick firewall, and I couldn't access it from the outside. Looks like we'll have to search on foot. Please go and ask around about Hugo's whereabouts in Kowloon. Still, I don't know who it is, but anyone capable of hacking into an account with a firewall that thick must be a genius hacker. Hugo's whereabouts. At least we can go straight to Eden from here. I do like that bit. Okay. Kowloon level one. Of course, as soon as we go in, I'm just going to turn off the encounter rate because fuck fighting things, man. I don't want to do it. Not with all these megas. I mean, sure, if it's going to be like... Actually, can't do that from here. Yeah, there's no encounters here. Could be Rio or Yugo himself. I'm betting it's not deletable because fragments of it are still Yugo running... I don't know, man. It's weird and dumb and silly. I really wish the encounters would scale up through the plot of the game so we're not just fighting baby and training Digimon. Because we totally would be here, and that would just be dumb. Okay, ever since the Under Zero, both Real Life and Eden have been a mess. Yugo's whereabouts. Heard the team broke up after Valhalla server. So, where would you go if you were Yugo? I mean, you'd pretty much be a ghost. Why don't you check the cemetery? Heh. <laughs> You're fucking useless. Okay! Uh, I kind of wish there were exclamation marks on the map, or lock map marks on the map, so I can tell where these people are. Okay. Uh, let's see. I wonder if Eden's going to be okay. First the old president, now the CEO. The brass are dropping like fro fl uh, fries, flies. You go. He's like an urban legend. He's here, but not. He's gone, but here. Turn around, and he's suddenly behind you. Think he's there, and realize you're alone. Seems pretty ghostly to me. You'd think that'd be a bad thing, but his ghostliness leaves an even stronger impression. That's charisma. That's the mark of a real legend. His skill at hacking is also legendary. People still talk about his punishment for the foreign company that tried to take Kamishiro over. He used a Digimon program to get into the company server, destroyed all their data. Come to think of it, he was really the one who proved the power of Digimon programs to the hackers. That incident really redefined hacking. Mmm, fries, I'm hungry. Don't talk about food. I don't know what it is. Whenever I'm playing this game, I'm starving. It only gets worse. Okay. Kowloon will probably stay a lawless area until Yugo is able to unite everyone. Using Digimon programs, he became Eden's top hacker in one fell swoop. But with all the stuff happening lately, I wish he'd come back. At least we're probably not going to do another one of those food tasting quests for a while. Something I'd like to ask. Oh, you want to know about Yugo, do you? I've seen him, you know, with these two eyes. It was a long time ago down on Kowloon level two. Actually, I feel like I might even see him again today because I'm that lucky. A day you see Yugo can't be beat. That phrase is my lucky charm. Can you fight people on a PS4 from a Vita in this game? Yeah, as far as I can tell, uh, this game has crossplay. Uh, it's completely identical, so there's no reason why not to. Or, like, why you couldn't... Okay, let's... Eliminate encounters. I don't even remember what the requirement was there. Uh... To eliminate encounters. But I'd rather eliminate encounters than fight baby and training Digimon right now. Plus the occasional rookie. It's just not worth... It's just not worth the effort. Okay. That said, I won't be versing people. Uh... In this game. This quest is so boring. Honestly, most of the quests in this game is are kind of dull. Like, I am... I don't know. I'm, like, of two very mixed minds about this game. On one hand, awesome Digimon. On the other hand, eh. It feels... It feels so padded out and... disjointed that it's hard to... It's hard to stick with. The beginning was pretty cool. And, like... Around chapter 10 to 13 was awesome, and then we got back to the grind, and it's like, oh, I guess we're here then. Oh, well. Yeah, the, playing this game just makes me want to go back and play, like, the other Digimon games. Just not a J JRPG. That's the thing, though. Like, a lot of JRPGs are 
better than this, even, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, we're going the wrong direction. I don't know. This just makes me want to go play, like, a, a stronger JRPG at some point. I guess, uh, in a couple weeks I get Disgaea PC, and then immediately after that I get the... The Hundred Knight. Okay. Where the hell is he? Um... You know... I was expecting him to show up at, like, the deepest depths or somewhere. Guess not? Uh, maybe like... Huh. Did I miss him walking in? I guess I must have. Wow. Uh. Oh, this sucks. Did I miss someone on level one? I. God, I hope not. It gave me the noise saying, yeah, search Kowloon level 2. I'm on Kowloon level 2 from what I can tell. I bet he's down here. Because we're not supposed to talk to anybody at this point. Um... Huh. I haven't seen him. Well, this is painful. Like, normally I'm trying to keep up the enthusiasm, but... Oh, God, there's nothing that ruins pacing more than just wandering lost and confused and slightly angry, honestly. Like, is he not showing up because I turned off encounters? Is it something that stupid? Or do I have to interact with somebody? Maybe I have to go back and introduce... Uh, maybe we have to go back and, like, bother these guys. Oh, thanks. God damn it. What the hell? Well, say something already. You're freaking me out here. I know a hacker fr from the Zaxxon, so I went to talk to him, but I'm not used to this avatar yet. It's hard to speak properly, and I don't think I look right, which is weirding me out. Of course, Yugo and I are one and the same. Well, we are and we aren't. This is an email from Yugo. This is from the person that hacked the account. What do you think he's planning? I'm waiting for you in the place I was born. An Avalon server URL is attached to the message. Avalon server? That's where Rie asked me to be the leader of the Zaxons. That's where I... That's when I first became Yugo. It's the place where Yugo was born. But the only ones who know of that are myself and Rie. Dude, this is probably a trap. We should go together. Anyway, let's go. We finally found you. Who are you? I am Yugo, leader of the Zaxons. Stop kidding around. You give that avatar back, right this minute. Is this avatar that important to you, Yuko? Y you know my name. Of course, I am Yugo. Isn't this the avatar that you've been using in Eden for so many years? It seems that you th think this account has been hacked, but that's not true. No one is logged in as me. Don't lie to me. Nobody's logged in. Indeed, it is just as you say. But this is an account that was created by Rie Kashibe with its own AI, in order to manipulate you. 
Yugo, the ideal hacker who is designed to unify all the hackers in Eden. That is who I am. You're an AI that was built into my avatar. You're a program? Exactly. Even though you are a quiet and reserved person, you are able to be Yugo. And I am the reason I am the reason that was possible. Do you understand now? But you and I have been partners all these years. And yet, why would you try and erase me? Anyway, without me, you can never be Yugo, right? Yet you still want to delete me. You became me in order to protect Eden, didn't you? Yes, I did. I was alone and powerless. I didn't think I could protect Eden, so I accepted Rie's invitation. My brother, who I respect more than anyone, protects Eden, the Eden our father created. The Avatar looks just like my brother, so it's always felt like we were, just, we were together. I see. Okay then. From now on, let's protect Eden together. I have nothing but contempt for Rie. You are without question the best brother anyone could ask for. It is for that reason that I felt comfortable, terrible as I am. Because of that, I was manipulated by Rie, and in the end, I threw my father's Eden into chaos. I won't allow myself to depend on you anymore. Today, I will delete you. You can't delete me. I was created to protect Eden. Eden is the only place I can exist. I thought so too, but there are certainly places outside of Eden where we can live. Maybe that's true for you, but I'm a program. I cannot live anywhere else. But I understand now. You and I were different people. M Machine Dramon, why? Y you're my Digimon. Machine Dramon and I fight together. It seems he still sees me as you go. Rise Greymon, it seems he has chosen you. But, can you beat me, I wonder? Without me, you can't talk to your companions. Please, don't misunderstand. I don't want to hurt you, but I just don't want to be deleted. Dude! I see, you've made your choice. How, how we think, where we live, our Digimon, our friends, we're completely different. The only way to delete, uh, decide this battle... Uh, decide this is with a battle. We are proud hackers of Eden, are we not? That's what I want. I've decided to split myself in two. So, she gets a Rise Greymon, he gets a Machine Dramon. This doesn't seem really fair here, but whatever. I was wondering when I got to fight this thing. Actually, did I already fight it? I don't even know. Anyway. Uh, we've got at least one vaccine, so let's switch Shine Greymon in. This just feels kind of comical, honestly. Let's see. Okay, so he's electrical. I don't think I actually have anything specifically good against electrical. I might have, like, Comet Hammer or something on one of these characters, but still. Also, as a public service announcement, uh, Sebastian SB is a putz. We made a deal to, uh, make characters of each other for XCOM, and he never did, and then he lost. Therefore, he is a putz, but I guess I didn't die, so I guess it kind of works out. Okay, there we go, Comet Hammer 2. Eh, close enough. That'll do some damage. Alright, oh, he's overheating because of his special move or whatever. Oh, that's silly. You fought Machine Dramon when raiding the Avalon server. Honestly, I don't even remember it. Okay. Just trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here. Most of these are just kind of meaningless. Well, whatever. I'll just hit him with whatever I've got for the time being. We can keep hitting him with uh, common hammers and stuff, because Shine Greymon has more than enough SP for this. You know, I could also just throw it on auto mode and kick his ass pretty handily. Like, this just doesn't seem fair, though. I think it does actually have extra HP, but, uh... Like, I, I think, it, yeah, as a boss, he definitely has extra experience, but still. Wow. 
Master Guard? That sounds interesting. I wonder if that's like, uh... 20% off all elements. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. I see. I suppose I have to disappear then. No, I won't delete you. Hmm? The real me is still in here. I see, in that case. What? Stop staring at me. I'm not going to cry, you know. Rise Greymon, I'm no longer Yugo, but will you still stay with me? Well, thanks. You digivolved, and you have a different body than before. I'm happy for you, but I miss your old form a little bit. The case is closed. Thank you. By the way, I'm in the middle of doing a round of cake shops in Nakano. Shall we go? No, no, don't worry. It's not like I'm gonna go binge eating or anything like that. I just need to get over it, that's all. Are you coming or not? Adorable. Indeed. Yuko thought the cakes were so delicious, she just kept eating and eating and eating. Until the manager ended up crying. She was late contacting me, so I was worried. And then... That was what she had to say in the end. I know we normally work a uh, case to the end and provide the client with support afterwards, but maybe we should pass on it this time. However, I have seen many instances of accounts being stolen by Digimon. For a human-like AI to start controlling, uh, start sealing accounts like that, when it comes to programming, an AI and a Digimon are basically the same. It's I I seems it seems that more and more strange things are happening in cyberspace. You nod and say, uh-huh, just like everyone else, but even you could be referred to as strange, don't you think? I'm noticing as we get further into the game, the uh, the translation is actually getting worse and worse, which is kind of amusing. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Now we should probably go talk to Murray. Nice work. Looks like your cases are going well. Oh yeah, shouldn't Murray be just about done with her preparations at, by this point? Okay, so let's go check that text. It's probably from Yugo... Uh, apologizing. Nope, never mind. Let's go talk to her and progress the plot. At least we'll be able to move up one chapter tonight. Apologies for the wait. Let's get started, shall we? What are you going to do to those cats? Those poor cats! You killed them! Why is the music busted? It, oh, it's Angel Woman. Yeah, I thought so. God, the music's broken though, and it's... Oh, this is so bad. It ruins everything. Wow. Well... マスティモ Did Mastimon ever show up in any of the series? I don't remember if she did. What? 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 Hey, 
力が奪われたままでもいいのパワーそ,それはコマリングうんどうしようえっ I just pulled the Terminator. Why am I not naked? I should totally just terminate. Oh God, that just be. <laughs> uh, I know. I know this wouldn't happen, but my mind's just like, all right. I just pulled a Terminator. I should be naked, and I should immediately kill her for her clothing. And then I just imagined the main character wandering around in that getup, and it's not good. All right. All right. Well. So apparently this character, oh, she's the main character from uh, Digimon Redigitized Decode. Interesting. Weird. Also, this is the first time Mastamon's been introduced to Digimon. Cool. I can feel my brain melting, and it hurts, and it's the same fucking Shibuya. The fa- oh, shop? I should 
buy a lot of these. Wait, that's escape gate. Damn it, that's not the one I was looking for. Whatever. I have so much money anyway, it doesn't even matter. Seriously, they're putting me into the same goddamn dungeon. How many times have I been in here? Like, six times? Seven? Oh great, I don't have the subway pass for this dimension. Guess my normal Shinjuku IC card doesn't work in a parallel world. Ha! Fancy that! Welcome to this place. Where we have to go get the key to the... Ah! Ah! Are you fucking kidding me? We're fighting rookies! At this point in the game, with Megas, we're off to fight a Mega Digimon. He's being guarded by rookies. 300 experience. Oh wait, no, these are the Meteor Mons. They're at least Ultimates. But still, game, why? Seriously, why? Wow, this is like ultra game design. This is the best kind of game design. This is the kind of game design where you look at it and you're like, man, who the fuck thought of this? And who the fuck play tested this? And the answer is you put it down, you put it together and you look at it and you're like, yeah, this is worth 60 bucks. And then you hand it to people and like, yeah, I guess this is worth 60 bucks. And they- and heal up Wonderbot. What? Like I'm injured. Got a parallel world IC card. Aw, oh, great. The best kinda. Wow. I've been dealing this for nigh on 60 hours now. Oh wait, okay, there's a couple ultimates. This feels a little bit more reasonable. But, like, honestly, this wasn't really a problem until Chapter 8, which admittedly was, like, a good 20 hours ago. Worth the gameplay, but... Like... It's still... Just, like... Ah, uh, Chain Max. Nah, that's dumb. I don't know. I... Just playing this game hurts. Just a little bit. Just a lot, really. I mean, okay, this is better. We're now- we're now actually fighting things that are, like, actually worth... ...fighting. I don't know why we were fighting rookies in the beginning. But, at least this is something. Though, I will still make the point, like, why are there still rookies here? And also, why is it the exact same, um... Why is it still the exact same dungeon as a place we've been in, like... Seriously, how many times have I been down this one subway? Like, how fucked up can a subway get that you have to go clear it four times from, like, terrible monsters? Like, what do you keep down here? What's wrong with the Japanese subway line that it's evil? Why is this place infested with evil? Can somebody that's Japanese, like, inform me here? Because I legitimately have no clue about what's wrong with your goddamn subway system. Like, you never hear about, like, the London subway system being that janked up. You just, you just have, you know, mind the gap. Did you expect this game to be as bad as I did? See, the thing is, like, it's, or it's so mixed bag, it's, it's weird. Like, I didn't expect it to be, like, really, really... But, the, like, weird design choices... ...blow my mind, because, like, um... I've played Shin Megami Tensei, and they've got, like, randomized dungeons, which aren't, aren't much better, but, like... Hot damn. This is just incredibly dubious. I'm like, I don't regret playing this game. I've I've been enjoying it. It fills the void of video uh, of Digimon games that I've had for the past, you know, decade or so. But it's just like they really cut some impressive corners here. Japanese public transportation is actually quite good. Then why is it evil and infested with evil in like every game? Every game set in like Japanese real world. Almost always the subway is, like, where the last boss is, or it's relatively close. I'm remembering World Ends With You, and 
And like in World Ends with You, the uh, the if I remember right, like two out of three of the chapters, maybe all of the chapters actually, the last boss was located down near the subway yard, which is weird. Also, this guy is weird. わざわざやられに来るとは。お前たちから奪った力で、わしは大大大魔王となり、この世界を征服するのだ。ところでどうじゃ。もしもわしの配下になるなら、世界の四分の一を。付き合い。どう。Wow, this guy actually has a shit ton of HP. This might actually be more of a problem than I thought. Or who gives a shit, because we're still gonna kick his ass. Alright, well, uh, let's give it a best shot. Oh man, we've got a vaccine type with uh, that did way less damage. Oh right, because his intelligence was really high. I forgot, intelligence uh, resistant magic attacks. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, let's see, do did the developers have all these thoughts while they were making the game? I don't know. Like, that's the weird thing about a lot of these games. It's like, you have to imagine they just, like, they had, like, the idea for a game and the, the uh, whomever was in charge of decision-making was like, let's make it longer. And then they did. I don't know. It's weird. I kind of wish my character would have just, like, dived right in to kick him in the face, too. Just for, uh, shits and giggles. But that clearly did not happen. I'll probably switch Lizardmon out, or just use one of the many SP sprays that I've got here. Actually, no, that probably wouldn't be a good idea. Uh... It's it's such a hard thing to say with, like, game development, though. Because, like, in a lot of cases, you know, they don't have a choice. In a lot of cases, like, uh, you know, the, devel the developers have, like, a very short period of time. And I think this one was totally uh, contracted out. Uh, cause this is the Shin Megami Tensei people, I believe. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do this between games as, like, a, you know, cash grab. Cause I don't think there's, like, a... I don't think there's, like, a, a legit studio that works on Digimon games anymore. Actually, was there ever? Was it the same studio that made Digimon's World 1 through 3? One through three? Or did... were they, uh... Were they all separate out? Uh, separated out? I... Truly do not know. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Kind of wish I knew. All right. Oh, whatever. We've got a. We got more people. Saint Knuckling. <laughs> Her V mod should be dead. Oh, absolutely. Her V mod should be just totally Dunsky. The companion characters are completely invincible. Which. Is weird, but why not? I'm definitely gonna switch uh, Grape Lemon to become the Cheruby Bond. Totally seems like a correct direction to go. Damn Shine Greymon. What is Most Abins? Most Abins is uh, Cheruby Mon Vice, which is only available as a DLC character. Hey, memory up DX, Spirit Drain. If I remember right, absorbs 10% of the damage as SP. <gasps> Woo! That's good. That's real good. Let's get rid of anti-poison. 
Physical drain. Physical attack, 50 neutral damage in one foe absorbs the damage as SP. Damn. Alright, uh... What else do we got here? I've gotta have something that I can get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of mental break. I'm not using that. いい加減に技の名前くらい覚えてよ。毎回適当すぎるよ。そう。まあいいじゃん。勝ったし。うん。覚えておれ。わしは何度でも蘇るぞ。な。どう。で。わ。君は本当に軽いな。それで君は僕に何の用だったの？そっか、君の世界が大変なことに。分かったよ。次は僕が協力する番だ。リーナ、僕はうん、分かってる。行ってらっしゃい、ブイブイ。私はいつだってブイブイのことを応援してる。たとえそれが遠く離れた世界だったとしてもね。ディナ。もう早く行っちゃいなよ。涙なんて私たちらしくないじゃん。目的は果たしたのね。それじゃ入り口を開くな。
生身の体で時空の裂け目に飛び込むなんてあり問題あり問題かどうかはあなたの受け取り方次第ね次元時空は生身の肉体では超えられないのがルールだからあなたは今肉体から無理やり分離されて電脳体として存在しているわないだろうから言っておくけど電脳体っていうのは僕たちデジモンみたいなデジタルな存在ってことだよえそうなの私デジモンになっちゃったっていうか私の可愛いボデーはプリティーボデーは残念ながらあなたの体は無事あっちの世界にとどまっているわ戻る気になったら私に言いなさい送ってあげる言ったかしら覚えてないわでも平行世界の私は言ったかもしれない私が残念ながらと言った世界と言わなかった世界言ったかもしれないけれど言わなかったような世界無数に分岐する世界で無数に私が存在しているのうんうんおおおっていうかアリミレイじゃんここパラレルなワールド You w h 二人は知り合いなのかってそうねちょっとした知り合い別の世界でねとにかく次元時空の移動にはかなりのリスクがあるわ旅行気分でその断りを乱してはいけないできるだけおとなしくしていなさい言っても無駄だと思うけれどディッヒッヒッヒッディナにおとなしくしろだなんて確かに無駄かもねじっとしていられるのは3秒が限界だしけどやっぱりリナがいてくれると調子いいや僕さあその暴れ者を止めに行こうスピード勝負なら僕は誰にも負けやしないさ We should be able to catch Kentaro Saman now. Let's head to the Eden Free area again.